Good morning, everybody. Steven here. We're going to do that second uh, trade review. This is for Monday, April 9th. Got a couple trades. This was a interesting little day. Let's see how it goes. I'm going to go fast forward until I see something uh, worth discussing a little bit and show you how the system works. And we can go from there. Let me put this over on the spy. So this is the market. Not really seeing anything yet. Yeah, market's kind of playing around, pivot. Just got away from it just now. Not really looking good yet though. So, a lot of things right here about why this is not a good time. Almost 10 o'clock. So I'm not gonna do anything. There you go. Turn Ten around city. No big deal. This is the value of the replays. You get to go through the patterns over and over and over and learn them to a point where you can actually anticipate the probability of the next move, whether it be up or down or sideways in this case. Uh, right now, we've got to have some things happen in order for us to even be interested. Okay, maybe, let's see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna start looking around at some stocks here in a second. I'm seeing some some support here at this 9:45 top. Let's take a look at some of my favorite stocks. Let's start with Netflix. Oh, okay. So we are right above RA, out of the risk zone. It went up, came back down pretty heavy. And it hit RA, so that tells me that RA is probably support as long as the market doesn't turn around on us. As you can see, it's not fighting or turning around on us right now, it's actually helping a little bit. My trade is going to be up to this previous high, so like it, let's do it. I'm going to fast forward all GTFO if it uh, breaches that RA. Again, you know, these are going to be a little bit longer term strategies. Almost 10.30. Oh. 10.30. Oh. Okay. I'm good with that. Out at 8%. Um, it touched. It just came back down instantly. So I'm going to get out. That was a quick 8%. Effortless. Looking good. Okay. We'll review at the end. Next one. Uh, let's go forward a little bit. We actually have some decent conditions, as you can see right here. Decent conditions on the market, so probably another trade will be available pretty soon. Just looking at the market over here. Goldman's looking like it's doing pretty... Oh! And a marker. Okay, so let's see how this goes in the next five minutes. Let's see if it's providing support. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Oh, let me get rid of this. Bot call. Okay, we're looking for it to beat. We need it to beat. Okay, we're still we're still on the clear. Give it a little time. Figure itself out. Looks like it's coming back. We need a breakout. There it is. All right, so we actually have something here that could uh, run for a little bit. So I'm gonna run with it until I see something obvious that makes me want a GTFO. But right now we're looking pretty good. We have 10% already. Almost 11 o'clock. Looks like a hard resistance line at 253. I'm fast forwarding by the way. There we go. Looks like we got a run. Possibly come up to uh, 254. Came down pretty hard on that one. Still sitting at around 11%. You know, at this point, you're sitting there. Where? What time was that? 10:44. Um, been in for a little while, so your choice. But these these kind of stocks that kind of creep up, they're a little bit more challenging to uh, 
to develop a strategy that really works with those kind of things. Um, so you don't really want to practice this in the beginning. You want to get those fun fundamental uh, aspects of you know what what is the most important thing, what's the second most important thing, and then move from there. So I'm actually going to go forward until I see a reason to get out because this, okay, so we have a previous high here, an RA, uh, market's kind of going flat, we're at 26%, let's see if RA, if it beats, then we'll stay, oh, alright, previous high, tapped it, is it going to, nope, it's not going back up, alright, so 27%, alright, I'm out of here, that's it for me for today. I'm going to close this out here. Obviously, it wasn't two minutes. Let's look at the review. First one, we got in Netflix, 1021 call, got out at 1033, made 8.1%. Goldman Sachs, got in at 1044, bought a call, got out at 1139, we made 27.2. Not a bad day. Okay, so these trades, when you get really good at um, doing some some of the micro stuff, like getting in and getting out within windows and all that kind of stuff, you can really make a lot of money when you leverage that on a larger scale. Okay, the critical thing here is you don't want to be in the negative if you're going long. You don't want to be in the negative. In this case, you could see it wasn't a great moment to get in, but it never went negative on us. That's critical. So keep that in mind when you're out there trading and uh, keep doing good things out there. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.